getting back with your ex, contrary to popular belief, is not about what you say or what you do or even how you look. It's actually all about making a change in your mindset, in your self-perception and in your self-respect. And it's as simple as changing your mind about a few things. So take a moment to consider the following. That instead of trying to prove yourself to your ex, you could realize you don't really have to prove yourself to anyone, not even yourself. That instead of trying to impress them, you could wonder if they will be trying to impress you. Instead of wondering what to say or do next to raise your ex's attraction, you could think, hey, what are they going to do to raise my attraction? That instead of clawing for your ex's validation, you could figure out that you just need to validate yourself more. That before you send them that second text in a row, that third, fourth phone call or whatever, you could ask yourself, have they initiated any sort of contact with me first? That instead of obsessing about how you come across when you talk to them, you could think whether they will actually put in the effort to keep the conversation going and, well, to talk to you. And of course, instead of getting sad and riled up when your ex rejects you, when they tell you they don't want anything to do with you, or if they tell you that, you could instead realize that that simply means you're incompatible and that you don't want to have anything to do with such a person in the first place. Now, this may all sound a bit selfish, but actually it's called having firm boundaries. It's called having a healthy dose of self-respect and self-esteem. And it simply means that you aren't a complete pushover, a pussy, a simp, someone who has literally no backbone. I want you to only make time for your ex if they make time for you. I want you to only put an effort into mending things if they keep putting an effort into mending things as well. Same story with needs. Only put effort into meeting your ex's ones if they put in effort into meeting your needs. You get the point by now. And look, maybe you're not strong enough, maybe you're not experienced enough to do these things and I get it. But that doesn't change the point. You need to do them, otherwise you have literally no chance of getting back with an ex and actually keeping them. That is, in a healthy and lasting relationship. Think about it like this. Your ex has to respect and trust you if you ever expect them to love you. And any behavior that goes against what I just told you, well, it only diminishes trust and respect and therefore makes it basically impossible for your ex to love you at least long term. And look, if you're constantly seeking their validation, begging them to come back, looking for their approval, chasing after them, doing stupid stuff like grand gestures, trying to profusely compliment them, trying to essentially impress them, how can your ex ever really respect, trust and love you? When you're like that, when you're doing these kinds of things, newsflash, they can't. That's why you can still have all the best tactics and ninja tricks and techniques that all these other coaches and experts or whatnot on these ex back YouTube videos preach about and still fail to get your ex back because you just don't have your head straight. You're focusing on the wrong things. It's you who attracts or reattracts your ex, not the performance you put up, not the lines, not the pre-prepared text messages, not the handwritten letters. It's about your identity, what you embody, what you stand for, the type of values you cultivated. So in a nutshell, you need to not simply act attractive, you need to become attractive. And actually putting to practice the mindset I'm trying to convey in this video is what will ultimately get you to become attractive and therefore maximize, truly maximize the odds of getting back with your ex. And to really hammer my point home, your ex can be this amazing person. They can have like a supermodel body. They can have a bazillion dollars in their bank account. They can have a bursting group of friends. They can be famous, whatever. That's not what you should focus on though. What you actually should focus on is whether your ex treats you well or not, whether you like hanging out with them, whether you like dating them, whether you're happy when you're with them, whether they respect you, 
whether they are affectionate towards you, whether they actually put in the effort to rekindle the whole thing. So ask yourself, are they doing those things? Are they worth your time, energy and effort? Do you enjoy being around them? Do they treat you well? These are the questions you should be asking yourself every step of the way during the reattraction process and probably after or before it as well. And look, the only way you're gonna start asking yourself these questions automatically, the only way you will be able to come up with actual valid answers is if you improve yourself, take care of your diet, Take care of your sleep, take care of your health, lose weight, get in shape, lower your anxiety, resolve your emotional issues, do better in your career, get some hobbies, resolve your shame, build up your confidence and of course love yourself, otherwise no one else will. If you want to go deeper into getting an ex back, download my reattraction cheat sheet down below in the description. Take care.